Thank you for enjoying your sweetest moments with me, Merging Timelines. Hi Aquarius. Today I'm going to receive messages for your mid-March update, mid-March reading. Sorry that it's late, but everything within its proper timing, Aquarius. Something about proper timing. If you enjoy my style of reading today, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I also would appreciate if you found a better title for the reading, if you could leave it in the comment box below. Thank you so much for sharing time and space with me, Aquarius. The Emperor comes out first, and the High Priestess, and the Knight of Pentacles with the Page of Cups. Overall energy is avoiding some sort of healing that we need to allow ourselves to rebuild our confidence within our individual magic, Aquarius. There's someone that you're connecting with, Aries, Leo, Sag, big energy with Aries. Aries is about um, their ego. So you could be learning from an Aries about an ego, possibly an inflated ego, or helping someone restore their ego. Um, masculine form, right? You could be helping a masculine to restore their ego. What part of you are, have been ignoring your intuition in this though? You've been going against your gut feelings. You've been going against what you would typically do in other connections because you've been Ignoring the way you feel to help build them, maybe? Are you helping someone else in, the, in something, Aquarius? Because you remember a time when you felt rejected yourself. Aquarius, the overall energy here is the three of wands in reverse. So we're not going anywhere but we're finding union within ourselves. So the Aquarian that I'm reading for is possibly noting that by healing with someone, they're restoring their own ego. You're, you're, they're using someone to restore their ego in a time when someone made them feel rejected possibly still feels that makes them feel rejected. Mm. Somehow I still see you getting what you want when you've ignored how you felt the entire time. It's like saying, is this person really wrong if they ignored how they felt because they knew what the end result was going to be? Yeah. Something that they saw, they, this person took the long run or the long way home by choice. But they know they're getting to a place where they feel they're going to get everything they ever wanted. But it started from a cup that was not even full. This could also be raising someone into love. Or into the expression of love. Because that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing that someone is kind of raising another person in the expression of love. And they've been going against everything that they've typically been alarmed of in the past because they know that this is bringing everything that they ever wanted. It's bringing them a sense of union within. Aquarius, sun and moon. So your past timeline, dealing with someone who has an ego that was inflated, someone was feeling rejected in their past, 
they possibly come across childlike at times, but they are learning how to love through you. You've ignored everything that you've felt in the past to see this. I'm going to throw these back in Aquarius. But your highest timeline shows me that you are no longer blind. And so you can choose whichever path you want to take when it comes to the journey because you're not blind, Aquarius. You know in connecting just how much karma Saturn is going to give you. Aquarius, you're the phoenix. How fitting. It feels something like you rose to the occasion where you weighed your own scales. Aquarius, how does the lawyer or how does the justice system become something that is weighed? In the spirit world, it weighs itself first. So you weighed yourself first, Aquarius. The phoenix. Let's get into the phoenix for you, Aquarius. What is this one going to be like? We have it in the upright. Freedom from suffering and past karma. Reincarnation. The phoenix represents the transformation of our past. It doesn't mean running from it, denying it, or burning bridges with rage. The phoenix employs an advanced technique described in yoga as the burning of impurities through practice and dedication, the essence of the phoenix is with us when we realize we have been suffering too long and something must change. We take a stand and decide to live consciously instead of being driven by the unconscious mind and its long list of fears and aversions See, I keep stopping on that because this decision between the conscious and unconscious mind, I told you that this person chose to take the long way. They could decide any direction they want to go in something because they see things clearly. They are conscious now of their decisions. They know their karma. They've weighed their scales. At that very moment, the spark of the phoenix is lit, guys. The great bird helps us burn through our baggage. We no longer run from who we are, what has happened to us, or what we have done. The stuckness and dead weight fall into the ashes, and lightness and clarity emerge as the stagnancy continues to smolder. The phoenix represents our spirits up. The phoenix lifts our spirits up and up, and we begin to recognize ourselves. Again, we may catch a glimmer in our eye that wasn't there before. Look closely. It's a sign that the fire of transformation is upon your wings, Aquarius. So the ancient yogis believed that our heaviest karma resides in the first chakra, the earthen center, center the Maldara. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm saying that wrong, but our root chakra, the accent of the ancient, the, um, the ascent of the phoenix begins here. And as the entanglement of karmas is slowly burned, it rises from the ashes towards the navel center. Again and again, it makes this journey from first to third, purifying our essence, freeing us from the past. Past, present, future, merging timelines, Aquarius. So this seems like a very fitting and beautiful message for you guys. I really like that we are allowing some sort of transformation within ourselves, but also trusting ourselves in the process. Trusting our vision in the process, Aquarius. I feel like because we noticed that we 
went through this change, we can see something and feel for someone all when it's been hurting us. We know the result of it, right? And I don't mean like in a bad way. I just mean that like it's like a premature investment Aquarius this person has been. They don't come across with control issues because they've had to surrender for so long, Aquarius. This person has really had to get into a very childlike position in order to surrender. And maybe you don't see that part of them and that's why you ignore how they feel. But all you know is it brings in some sort of wish for you, Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius, sun and moon. Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, don't back down, they say. Stand up for what you believe is right, Aquarius. We're in our age. You're on to something, Aquarius. It leads to your transformation and all of your wishes coming true. You've ignored how you have felt about some things, some triggers, but you'll see why. And everyone else will see this too. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. So the past timeline we talked about, the present, currently just not taking things personally, I'd say Aquarius. Knowing that it's about this feeling that you know is coming. Lend someone a shoulder to cry on, Aquarius. Are you someone else's shoulder to cry on right now? I see that if you're connecting with an Aries, Leo, Sag, a divine masculine who needs you, Aquarius, helping others find their own personality, their persona, their ego, their Uriel, <laughs> their spark, Aquarius. Sorry, let me throw these back in Aquarius. Aquarius, sun and moon. So you're lending someone a shoulder to cry on. You could also be dealing with the Pisces and helping them get through some things too. This person I don't feel like tells you a lot about how they're um, watching you go through things. They are of your past. Aquarius, help a Taurus find their way around your town or city, Aquarius. So do you even know your city, Aquarius? How much do you know about your city? You see someone in need that you'd be able to help them and tell them something about your city. Maybe there's something about your city that you could invite into who you are, Aquarius. Okay. I think that's it for you guys. I really do enjoy all of the time and space that we share. Thank you guys so much. If you like, enjoyed this reading, please like it. Like the video, comment if you feel like it. Subscribe. I'm going to post again really, really soon within a few days because we need to get our April readings out. Sorry this one was so late, but all in the right time. Love you, Aquarius. Bye.